Kerry from Empower. I'm joined today by Kate, who is uh, one of our business club members. Um, so Kate, tell us a little bit about what you do. Hi, Kerry. Um, so I'm Kate. I'm from um, Mama Lippy's Beauty Therapy. That's uh, my little business. And I work with uh, ladies who are looking to um, regain some of that confidence with colour, um, whether it's wearing colour, um, clothing or makeup or just sort of you know, decorating the house with, you know, the, the, that sort of finding that confidence back with colour and not hiding from it and not coming out of those neutral sort of thing. Um, so I help ladies find their colours, find their colours that they're really confident in and bring that to the surface. Um, and it's it's something that is, is really popular, um, especially at the moment. Um, with a lot of Zoom and things going on, people wanting to know um, the makeup and, you know, how best to wear and what colours are going to sort of make them look pop on the videos and things. It's, it's, it's really helpful having them sort of skills to... Um, to yeah, work. I can imagine that having to kind of be on video has really made people have to sort of think differently about makeup and what colour they wear and, and whether they wear patterns and stuff as well. Yeah, absolutely. It has, um, you know, when, when, when this all started, um, you know, you sort of jumped on a Zoom and, and, and that was it. But now people are doing it more and more, and especially small businesses and that as well. The, um, you know, they're the meeting more people online now. So the thinking more of, you know, what's my background look like? As you say, am I wearing a pattern top? Is my eyeshadow bright enough? Um, you know, does this lipstick actually suit me? You know, and, and that before they actually get on um, yeah. with the calls now, you know. Does it differ then kind of the makeup that you need on when you're on camera on Zoom than that you might go for in real life? Absolutely, it can do. Um, I mean, the colours wise, that can that can depend on, you know, what meeting, how you want to project yourself there, how much of that confidence you want it to come out. Um, but something simple as, you know, putting that little bit more on uh, when you're on camera so that it picks it up a bit and it doesn't, because you can look really pasty on camera Right. Yeah. Um, you know, if you if you've not got a lot on, when you've got a light on, and the camera itself will sort of filter you out a bit anyway. So putting that little bit more on to start with will just help to sort of create that look right from the start. Hmm. So you might find in in your own mirror you may be looking a bit too uh, heavy, but actually when you get on camera, it's not too bad. Absolutely. Yeah, you can look in the mirror and think, oh, that's a bit too glam, especially for ten o'clock in the morning for a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but yeah when you're actually on camera it doesn't look too much um, especially if your camera's a little further away as well um, you know it can it can just sort of bring a bit more balance to your face cool so how did you um how did you get into doing this then Kate well my background actually is in business support um before this I was working for the NHS um, and I looked after some quite higher up people. So I, I did a lot of hours and a lot of demanding work. Um, you know, it wasn't just a nine to five. I could be sometimes called to a meeting at four in the afternoon and it just go on, you know, until needed. Um, and, and I did that for a few years, but then I realized that I was pregnant and my little mushy was going to be coming, which doing as much as I love business support and I love that sort of support of people, it wasn't going to be practical with a newborn um, and even sort of as she grows up it's not practical doing that sort of thing with a, with a little one um, and the service that I looked after the people that I looked after they needed a full-time person you know so not dropping my hours to maybe um, part-time um, or a few days a week it wasn't really practical so I knew I had to do something about it and I'd already sort of got back into colour I'd already sort of rekindled my own love of colour and my own love of makeup and I was already sort of starting to do it a bit part-time on the side so it just sort of made sense that you know if ever I was going to do something about it that was like a perfect time to um to sort of bring it to the surface and go right well you know if I'm going to do it now's the time to do it and let's give it a go um, so how, did you, how did you start out Kate did you just kind of set up your own thing or did you work work with other people first or what was the plan so i started initially with uh, as an mlm um, as the column um, with a brand um which i i loved um and i loved that it was a makeup brand and i still use them now yeah 
Um, it's one that I've, that I've because I, I, mainly because I found that being so busy, wearing makeup was a not a chore as such, but it, it took a while to do. Um, yeah. And I found this brand, which cut my time down for my makeup quite, you know, quite a lot. So it made sense for me to then sort of affiliate with them and, and, and work with them like that because it, you know, I loved it and it helped for me to share with other people that, I, you know, if I love something anywhere. Um, and that was what really sort of rekindled that sort of love of makeup for me because I actually enjoyed getting ready for work on the morning instead of, oh my God, I need to get all this slap on. You know, yeah. I enjoyed sort of doing it and and, and looking my best and, and that. So, it, and it, it kind of sort of built from there really. Great. What a story. And now you've got your own business, your own thing and your own time frame, and you've got a wonderful uh, studio in your garden. What, what's that about? I do, yeah. Mama's cabin. I love my little cabin. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she was built for, um, obviously, with having a toddler in the house now. Um, I needed somewhere to work. Um, yeah. You know, the, the idea of... of we, we got a bigger house knowing that she was coming and she stole the room that was going to be my studio. So <laughs> I, needed, I needed somewhere to be able to work. So um, as I sort of grew a bit more and I saw more people face to face, um, it just, it made sense to, to have something built. Um, eventually the idea will be that we're going to put an extension on the current house. Um, and when that happens, that'll be my little summer house to go to. But um, but yeah, it's it's a lovely little studio and it's it means that it's separate as well. People can come, they can come and feel relaxed. Um, you know, they can come and, and have my whole attention um, instead of worrying about, you know, what's going on in the house, what's going on in the other room. Um, you know, it, yeah. it's just, it just gives that sort of little area to sort of come and, and be pampered, really. Lovely. Sounds great. Mm. Um, so in terms of, Empower, you've obviously been a member, been around quite a while now, and kind of one of the one of the team. Um what what does Empower do for you and your business? Yeah, I think I'm part of the fixtures and fittings now. <laughs> <laughs> um Empower for me has been absolutely brilliant. Um as you say, I've been with them for a while now and I've made some lovely friends, and it's just like having this like little family um that you can say it's like little business family you know that you can turn to and it's great for for someone like myself that works on her own yeah. all the time you know it's nice to be able to I, know, I can pop into the community and, and and ask somebody something you know there's a whole range of, of other businesses in there so if I'm stuck on something myself I can ask um yeah. you know if I just want to go hey you know what I work on my own it was free for a coffee and a video chat and a, and a little you know and just to it just makes you feel like you're not on your own all the time, even though you work alone. Yeah. Um, and it's just great knowing that actually people do have my back if I need it and people are there for a chat if I need it. And, you know, and I think especially now, a lot of people are, are working alone and it just, it's really helpful to know that that community is there. Yeah. And what about in terms of what, what it's done for your business? Have you actually had any kind of clients come through who you've yeah. met? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I say, I've met quite a lot of, of new women through it. Some have become clients, some have become friends, some have become sort of referees. Um, you know, I've, I have a lot of people that, you know, somebody will ask something and, and they're, they're quite happily, you know, refer you to, to somebody. So maybe they haven't become a client themselves, but somebody they know has. Um, and, it's, and it's been a big builder for my business. I've, I've had quite a few new clients through it. It's been lovely. Yeah, it's an interesting example of kind of the power of networking, isn't it? Is that you don't necessarily have to, or, or, or that woman you're talking to might not end up being your client, but if she likes you um, and gets what you're about or whatever, then she might refer you to someone she knows. So, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, there's, there's, there'll be ladies in the group that have absolutely no interest in my business and what I do, but that doesn't mean that they're... Uh, next door neighbour's dog walker feels the same you know they might sort of mention in passing oh by the way I was thinking of something like this and you know I wonder who does that and and I'm there in the head yeah yeah great and you've you've really diversified lately through the covid pandemic and gone online and stuff as well yeah yeah absolutely um I did a little bit online um before the covid hit 
it's it's sort of branched into a bit more um a lot more on on zoom and that really now than, than face to face which is something that i'm going to hope to keep up as well even when we're yeah. able to see people face to face again yeah brilliant brilliant it's a really inspiring story kate that you you sort of yeah quit the quit the day job and then found the thing that you're really passionate about and it works around your daughter and you know you can work from home from your cabin um absolutely really yeah absolutely i mean to be in all intents and purposes when i started this i thought right come on let's let's give it a go we need to do something about this but in the back of my head and i even signed on my maternity paperwork and everything to say that i would be going back after my year's maternity and i always had in the back of my head that yeah we're going to give this a go but i'm still going to go back to work and just do yeah. this part-time um and as it turns out i never actually went back to work so or back to the day job as such you know brilliant mm. and i imagine it's really rewarding as well yeah it is it is because i mean i can do a little bit and then i've got the rest of the day to to play with the toddler or you know do, well I won't say go shopping at the moment, but, you know, we could go out for a day or do something or even just nip down to the park or something, you know, she, it just means that she gets a lot more of my time yeah. um, than she would have done if I was sort of still in that position. Um, she would have gone from school to a childminder to a whoever else. Um, so it just means that she gets a lot more me. Yeah. And that you get a lot more you as well, mm -hmm. I guess. You're doing the thing that's, you know, got fire in your belly about helping women with the services that you provide them absolutely um, i still get to support but it's, it's me that gets to support them rather than me supporting somebody else to support somebody else you know it's 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 a wonderful feeling yeah do you want to just tell us quickly about some of the services a bit more about some of the services you offer yeah so like i touched on before makeup is my sort of background everything else is sort of stem from there um and i do a lot of lessons, uh, makeup lessons, how to's. Um, so I have ladies who um, sometimes they get some makeup given or something. And so sort I of go, right, okay, well, I've got this palette and I don't know what to do with it. And, you know, who do I know that can help me with that? Enter me, you know. So, <laughs> um, you know, and I can and I help ladies as well with, you know, they've sort of got this makeup bag and so well, I've got this and I don't even know what it is. Or, you know, I've got this, should I have this? Or, you know, so a lot of that. Um, I do a lot of that, um, especially online now as well. Yeah. And that's something that's quite easy to do um, through Zoom. So that's very handy. Um, but I do do colour analysis as well. Again, I can do some of that online, which is great. Um, so if you if makeup's not the thing and they're sort of maybe looking for an outfit, they've got, you know, something coming up. Maybe they just want um, a new something for, the, for that Zoom meeting that they were saying about, you know, again, just finding those colours um, is really helpful. Um, so that's they're sort of my main ones. Um, when we go back to face to face, I'll be bringing more colour therapy back in. Um, so I do okay. sort of the LED face mask you might have seen, uh, the skincare um, colour masking. Um, I do some of that. I do colour bathing and that sort of thing with lights and um, okay. and coloured silks and things. So um, that's that's something that I really love to do. But obviously that's just on a back burner at the moment. Yeah, hopefully not for for too much longer <laughs> no no we keep everything crossed and again bit by bit things do come in online anyway so i'm, I'm always free for chatting about everything <laughs> whether we can see face to face or not <laughs> yeah no thank you kate so i suppose one last thing what what would you kind of say to anyone who's thinking about joining empower and hasn't quite made that that leap yet and that investment in their business Oh, it is, it is, it's a no-brainer investment, on, for, at least in my opinion. Um, but if, if you're not sure and you're on the fence, come and see, come and, come and have a nosy, pop to one of the network events, um, yeah. you know, and, and come and see us all and, um, you know, see if it is something that's for you. Um, you know, networking can be quite a scary thing for people, but I think when they, when they come and, and have a look and see that we're not scary people um, and we're just you know, same as they are, maybe in a small business, you know, just sort of trying to get through everything. Um, I think it'd be great, but yeah, come, come and visit us, come and see us. Great, thank you. Mm. Thanks, Kate, that's been fantastic. No worries, thank you. <laughs>